Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, I kind of messed up a water cooling job. Not super bad, but you know, just a little bit. If you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out and watch me screw some stuff up, I will put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can do so. In this episode, we're going to get to something that I've been putting off for a while because I didn't think I had the parts, but when I was preparing for this episode, well, it turns out that I actually do. So, probably three or four episodes ago, we got this job in to get a Cinebench score of 5681. I did not have the parts at the time to be able to do it. I even did a special episode where we tried overclocking the CPU, we tried overclocking the RAM, we tried overclocking even the graphics card to see if that would do anything, and none of it, none of it could get us to this score of 5681. We need a Ryzen 5 5600X. I don't know when it came in. I went back and watched a couple of episodes where, you know, you get the emails and they tell you the new parts had unlocked. Well, I either missed it or it didn't tell me. I'm not sure which, but look what I, look what I have. I have a Ryzen 5 5600X available to purchase. Not sure when it got unlocked for me, but I think we're going to get this job done today. We may get one star on it because it has been sitting around for way too long, but we're going to buy this. In fact, I want to go ahead and put it in the cart right now. Let's go ahead and put that right in the cart. And then we're also going to go ahead and knock out these other two jobs. So let's take a look at this one. It says, I need some help. Can you make some repairs for me? Can you have a look at it for me? I have no idea what's wrong. I think something is up with my PSU. It's making a funny noise. Maybe you can replace it. I think emoji stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? I think I might have visited one too many dodgy sites, so it could probably use a scan. So it sounds like we need to put some stickers on there, and they may have been looking at some naughty things on their computer. So hopefully none of that pops up while we're, while we're diagnosing it. Anyway, thanks, Jay. By the way, that Jay is not me. I was not looking at any of that naughty stuff on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at Jay's PC stats here. So Janie's a PSU. He's got a Adata XPG Pylon 750 watt. Should we go ahead and order one of those? We got a few grand in the bank. Can't be that expensive. Let's take a look at it. If it's PSU is acting up, it's $145. $145. That's not that bad. Let's go ahead. Let's accept this job. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this to the cart. For this, if it turns out we need to order more parts, obviously we will do that. Anything else? Is there anything else we need? He just wanted some emoji stickers and a virus scan. So we will do that as well. Okay, so let's go back to this email. And then what is this wall of text? Is any of this necessary? Let me skim this real quick and see if I need to read this because you guys really probably don't need to be subject to this ridiculousness. Give me two seconds. Let me see if any of this is, is useful information. Okay, none of this has anything to do with anything other than the fact that right down here it says that they want some water cooling installed for the motherboard and their graphics card. So I'm not going to read that. If you guys haven't gotten this email yet, you'll get it eventually. I'm sure you can read through it. There's a lot there. I don't know that any of it's necessary. Let's take a look at these stats. A Z390 Ace by MSI, a 9900K. I had one of those. Very good CPU. What else we got here? Arctic Freezer. That's probably not even enough for that 9900K, to be quite honest, especially if you want to overclock it. That thing runs hot. Four sticks of RAM, a 1070 Ti. Okay. No SSD, no SSD. We're running on a four terabyte spinning hard drive. Well, that is exciting, let me tell you what. Okay, so let me go ahead and accept this job. Let me step away. I'm gonna get some parts for this water cooling job put into the shopping cart. And as soon as I've got it, I'll come back and show you guys what I'm gonna order. All right, for this custom water cooling job, we're gonna go with the EK Momentum MSI Z390 MEG Ace motherboard block. We're gonna go with an EK 100 Revo D5 reservoir. We're gonna go with a 360 millimeter EK Coolstream radiator. Hopefully that's gonna fit. Hopefully that's gonna fit. I looked at the case. It should, but you never know. We may be ordering a smaller. <laughs> we may be ordering a smaller radiator. Anyway, finally they have a Founders Edition 1070 Ti. So we're going to get an EK 1070 Ti block. 
All right, so I think we've got all of this stuff. That's been accepted. That's been accepted. And that was accepted a long time ago. That's the first thing we are going to knock out. So let's go back here. Let's buy all of this. Let's go here. Let's go to the checkout. We're going to get the 5600X we need and this PSU that we may or may not need. I don't know yet. We will find out. Let's go ahead and buy that for next day delivery as well. Minimize this stuff. We're going to leave all that alone. Let's go in the day so we can get everything in and we can get to work. And I'm not going to turn off the PC today, but we are going to turn off the lights. Let's end the day. Let's get everything in. I hear birds chirping in the background. Oh my. Okay, lights on. Let's go get all of our parts. There's all our stuff. Very nice. Okay, so first thing we need, Cinebench. This blasted Cinebench job that's been sitting around for way too long. Let me get this thing taken apart. Let's see, this needs to come, oh, this side of the case needs to come off. This needs to come off the top, and then we can get the AIO disconnected. I think we had a 2700X in here that we overclocked, and it just wasn't enough to make it happen. Let's see here. CPU processors. Yeah, we had a 2700X. I mean, you would think with eight cores, but it just, it just wouldn't do it. The IPC, I guess, just wasn't there. So let's get the 5600X and get that installed. Let's zoom in here so we can see what the devil we're doing. <laughs> I'm going to grab some thermal paste. There we go. And let's thermal paste this up. There we go. And I need their CPU cooler. Pop that back on there. I'm gonna zoom back out just a hair. Cable up the CPU cooler. And well, should I put the top panel back on? Are we trusting that this is gonna work? <laughs> is this gonna work this time? Okay. There's that. Let me power this on. I do want to hop into the BIOS. I don't know if anything changed. We did OC the RAM. Uh, none of that stuck, so let's just turn XMP on. That ought to get it done. All that's the same. Okay. Let's let this thing boot up. Hopefully this one's going to work. Come on. Man, their system would be so much faster if they just had an SSD in there. Okay, we're not going to mess with any of this other stuff we put on here. Let me start up Cinebench. We're going to do a run. Let's see what this thing pulls. It's looking much faster than it was with the 2700X, and I don't even remember what he had. This was so long ago this job came in, I don't even remember what was in it when it came in. I did watch the video where I had the overclocked 2700X, and this does seem faster. So what do we got? 6373. Pretty sure that beat it. We needed a 5681. It says so right there. So this is finally done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This job has been sitting here forever. Uh, let's just hope we don't get one star because of how long we've had this person's PC. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let's get this fix. This fix that needed a PSU, and he wanted some emoji stickers or something. Let's do, let's do that first. Let's do that first. What'd I do? What am I doing here? Let me pull this up. Let me just be sure. Upgrade, diagnose, here we go. Emoji stickers, and... A virus scan. So, stickers, shapes, warning signs, symbols, emoji. They didn't say what emoji stickers they want, so let's do a big smiley face right here on the side. Broken smoke. What did that say? <laughs> oh, man, that was so loud. That achievement was so loud in my ears. I, I might be going deaf now. Holy cow. Uh, so, what, uh, emoji stickers. <laughs> Let's do one of these. 
Let's see, how is it we shrink? Nope, that rotates. It's control. Control and scroll shrinks them down. They didn't say how many, how many they wanted. I'll do the cool sticker down here. Yeah, I don't think they said. They just said, I think emoji stickers. So there's three on there. I think that's good. Let's come over here. Let's see if this thing powers on. It does. Is it making that terrible sound? I'm pretty sure it made some awful sound when it powered on. Let me start by... I want to pull this PSU out and see if it is indeed broken. What? What all... What all needs to come out of here for me to get this thing out? There we go. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look at power supplies. It's faulty. It's faulty. Okay. Well, let's sell it. Yeah, I don't want a faulty... A faulty PSU sitting around. Well, let me cable this back up. And we should be able to power this on and make sure everything's working. I do want to hop into the BIOS real quick. And take a look and see if X and P needed to be turned on. And it did. So we're going to do that. I don't think they have any other drives in there. So let's take a look here and make sure everything's working. It's starting up nice and slow because of the lack of an SSD. Seems to be working. We do need to do a virus scan though. So let's go up here to tools, USB drive. This case is so big. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see. Virus scanner. That's what I was looking for. I forgot what I was looking for. Virus scanner. Maybe. Okay. Virus scanner. Start scanning. What do we got here? 610. Jay, Jay needs to stop with the dodgy websites. <laughs> Let's clean this up. I think this is the most I've ever seen in... This game or the original PC building simulator, 610 viruses. That is, wow, that's something. Oh, this isn't done. I don't know why I'm closing that up. <laughs> Let's get these shroud and beauty panels back on. There we go. Diagnose and fix, it's still saying something is wrong. Something else is wrong. Um, okay. Okay, so let's power this down. That beauty panel blocks nothing, so let's put that back on. What could it be here? I'm just gonna have to start pulling parts, I guess. Let's see, is it their hard drive? Because it seemed really slow. No, not the hard drive. Is it their CPU cooler? No. Uh, the fan was spinning in the back. I couldn't tell about the fans in the front. Those are spinning. Back one was spinning. Huh. No, that's... No. No. Okay. Let's take that back out. Is there CPU? No. I feel like I'm going to pull all this stuff out and it's going to be nothing. It was... It's going to be just that it didn't like the way I did the virus scan or something. Let's take a look at their graphics card. It says owned by. Nope. What is it? Their is it their motherboard? Let's zoom in here. Let me get all this RAM out. Q 
Okay, let's take a look at memory. Faulty. We've got a faulty stick of RAM. Okay. Okay. Well, at least it's not the motherboard. Should I check that? <laughs> While I've got everything off of it, uh, it's probably not going to hurt. Oh, i got to take out all the blast. I need to buy the auto standoff tool. That's in this game, right? Well, we're buying a stick of RAM. Let's see how much the standoff tool is. Motherboards owned by. No, we're all good there. So we just need a stick of this HyperX Fury 8 gig at 3000 megahertz. So let's pull this up here. What am I looking for? The shop? Memory. 3000 megahertz. HyperX Fury, 8 gigs, here we go, and it's going to be for this job, perfect, power-ups, how much is this, 2 Gs, we can afford that, that's the last power-up, no, we still need the auto cable tool, I was going to say that's the last power-up, but it's not, but we're going to buy that, we're going to buy the auto standoff tool, because I don't want to mess with that anymore, let's do same day delivery, let's buy it all now, our RAM should be here, and our auto standoff tool should already be enabled. So when we put this motherboard back in, shouldn't have any problems <laughs> with, with the motherboard, or with the standoffs. So let's get the motherboard back in. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Okay, let me get this thing ready for the CPU and the RAM. There we go. Did I open? Nope, I did not open that one. Let's start with RAM. Where's the faulty one? Here it is. $3. Let me get my $3. Get this new one. And the other three that were still in good shape. All installed. There we go. Then, I need to get their CPU back in. Will you close? Thank you. Also, I need to put some thermal paste on it. There we... Not enough. There we go. And... They're cooler. So this one, yeah. Done. Okay. Then, we need the graphics card. And I think that's everything. Just need to cable it up. Just need to cable it up. So, let me get everything cabled. We'll make sure this thing boots up. Missing cables. Oh, front panel connector. My bad. My bad. We gonna boot? I, oh, I probably should have hopped into the BIOS. Because I have a feeling. Let's just do this. <laughs> Don't do that to your computers in real life, by the way. Don't just shut them off hard like that. Is it really, did I really miss the, what the heck? I was running my mouth and I missed being able to push delete to go into the BIOS. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Oh, XMP stayed on. Okay. That's weird. That is weird. All right. Let me get this case put back together and closed up. We should be done with this one. Then we can do this water cooling job and see if I can maybe not mess this one up. Like I did the last episode. Uh, this thing's done. This thing is done. Let me go put it out here in the delivery area. But, but there we go. And then let's do this water cooling. Let's do this water cooling job. Let's plop that there. Get this thing taken apart. Let's see. This side probably needs to come off as well. Need to disconnect everything because the motherboard needs to come out. Let me zoom in a little bit. Lots of sticks of RAM in every computer today. Holy cow. Get all these out of here. And this graphics card needs to come out. 
Do I do the motherboard water cooling over on the water cooling bench? I'm trying to remember. It's been a hot minute since I've water cooled a motherboard. I'm pretty sure it takes place over there. So let me go over here. We've got, yeah, there's the motherboard. Let's start with that. Select the type. Did it have, ooh, I think it had the VRM cooling on it. I guess we're gonna find out. I sure hope it did. Get that installed. Thermal paste. Applied. Oh, it did. Excellent. Okay, so that is done. Now we need to do this graphics card. Get that off. Need some, oh, thermal pads first. Perfect. Then we need to add new thermal pads. I still swear those look copper. Then we need a cotton bud. There we go. Cotton bud done. Some fresh thermal grizzly. I'm going to really slather it on. Then we need to select this. We've got this water block. That slips into place. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so we've successfully done both of those. So let's come back over here. Okay. So to do this, I think these need to come out. Uh, maybe all of them do. Let's get that out of the way. Because... That needs to come off. That needs to come off. And then we need to come over here to custom water cooling parts. We've got the radiator to go in the front. Yep, that looks like it'll work for me. The, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so maybe the radiator won't fit in the front. Let's try it in the top. There should be room up here. Let me get these fans out of the way. We're just gonna take this whole blasted thing apart. We can put these fans in the front, I believe. Should be room for them there. Let's see if this radiator will fit in the top. Let me see. Yeah, let's, let's rotate it. Put the fittings there. Okay, then we come back here. Let's go to case fans. These should be all the ones I removed. Let me put those in the front. And let's see if they're going to work with the, the uh, reservoir. There we go. Okay, custom water cooling parts, reservoir. Oh, there we go. Okay. Excellent. 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 Love it when a plan comes together. Now, now we need, uh, where was our motherboard? Is it here? There it is. Okay. I couldn't remember where it put the motherboard once you water cooled it. So that has been water cooled. Where is the, oh, here. Okay. I could not find <laughs> the ports for in and out. Then... We've got the 1070 Ti that's water cooled. That can go there. Let me get this thing ready for RAM. A memory. Get all of these back in. Now we're talking. 
I think we're doing pretty good here. Okay. Now I want to pipe it. I have flexible piping. I think that's all I have available currently. <laughs> and either copper or blue fittings. Um, let's do copper. Let's do copper. So, let's go from here to here. And then we'll go from here into the CPU block. CPU block down to here. And here back to the radiator. That looks like a convoluted mess, but I don't have any rigid pipe yet. I may have it available to purchase. We may do that later. But for now, it's time to cable this. Did they say if they wanted a different cable? Let's see. Water cool. Oh, blah, blah, blah. no, just water cool. So let's go with just a plain black cable. Let me get everything cabled up here. We're going to see if this thing works. Okay, we need coolant. Install coolant. I mean, they've got a razor case. Should we do something green? Uh, green, UV, green, opaque. Maybe some opaque. I'm not a huge fan of the flexible tubing. So I'm definitely going to need to get some rigid stuff. I don't like how it's just a mess looking. But maybe that's just me. Maybe maybe other people like the flexible tubing. I'm not a huge fan. It still says we're missing a cable. You know what we are missing? Where am I going to put their hard drive? Because we need to fit a bay in here somewhere. Oh no. Maybe that bottom fan can go. Ooh. Oh, it's probably probably the cable for the top panel that we're missing here. So we can cable that. Um please allow me to install that. Okay. Okay, there we go. I almost forgot about their hard drive. That's That seems terrible to have water cooling sitting right over top of the hard drive, but that's all I can kind of do. Okay, the case is incomplete, but that's all right. Let's see if it powers on. It started up. Let me hop into the BIOS, see if they need any XMP. They did. Yeah, that's the only drive. Let's let this thing boot up. Maybe. There we go. St. Dibley's. Incomplete case. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know, we're going to put the case back together. We've got a dust filter. Needs to go on the front. We've got a front panel. Needs to go on the front. Does that always look like that? Is it supposed to... Is that supposed to light up? Huh. Okay. I'm not sure why that looks like that. Should I, like, power it down and start it back up? And that just that just looks like a square. Okay. Well, it says it's done. So I'm going to take their word for it. I'm going to take their word for it. Man, that strobing ram, that is too much. Okay, let's go put this... In the delivery area, we can collect some money. Holy cow, I can't believe we finally got this Cinebench job done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to collect it first because we've had it for blasted ever. We've had it forever. Four stars. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. They helped me get my Cinebench score to 5681. Thanks. And they gave it a good clean. Okay, geez. I probably forgot something. Oh. Paint the case cyan. Yep. 
That's exactly what I forgot. You guys can yell at me down in the comments because you probably knew that already. Okay, <laughs> let me delete that one. Let's take a look at this water cooling one. Five stars, nice. Oh, and I leveled up. I'll take it. I will take it. And then we've got this diagnose and fix. We did the emoji stickers and we scanned it for viruses and we fixed their PSU and their messed up RAM. So let's collect that one. Five stars, I had no idea what was wrong with my PC they fixed it and did a great job. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, we leveled up. Let's take a look. Ryzen 2nd Gen Threadripper. Hey, hey. 3866 megahertz RAM and RTX, RTX? RTX 2080. Also got some components here. Got the Threadrippers over here, the 2970, 50, and 20. Nice. 2070 Super Gaming X Trio. Got some good stuff here. Okay. Next milestone at 14 unlocks Cascade Lake X processors, 12 core CPUs from Ryzen, and 4,000 megahertz RAM. Okay. Okay, here's the broken PCs. We are going to take a look at that. I keep saying it. We are. We'll get around to it. And here's some emails for the next episode. Requi what? Required rating of five. Oh, like five stars? Okay, well, that doesn't help us out any now, does it? What is it? This this is a job. Is this a job we've already done? Uh, you know what? We're just we're going we're going to close that out. We're going to look at that in the next episode. <laughs> we're going to figure that out. I think it's something I got ahead of myself on when their PC was in last time. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. In the next episode, we'll take a look at all that stuff. Not sure what I can do about not having a five-star rating, so we may have to not accept that one job because I don't think we can anyway. But we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my rambling on. If you haven't subscribed and want to do so, hit that button. Ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as a video from me goes live. Also, if you want to help me out, I've got Patreon, and you can become a channel member. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next episode.